Hello everyone, welcome to my another video. Today we discuss about important MCQ on administration of medications. This is part 1. For more important MCQ on nursing subjects, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Question number 1. Which among the following abbreviation indicates at bedtime? Option A. OD. B B D C T D D H S Right answer is option D H S This abbreviation is used to signal to the patient that the medication should be taken at bedtime Next question Medications used for nausea and vomiting is known as Option A. Analgesics B. Antipyretics C. Antimetics D. Antibiotics Right answer is Option C. Antimetics Antiemetics are the medications used for nausea and vomiting. Analgesics are used for pain relief. And antipyretics used for to bring down temperature. And antibiotics is used to treat infection. Next question. A nurse has just administered medication via orogastric tube. What is the priority nursing action? Option A. Check tube placement. B. Retape the tube. C. Flush the tube. D. Remove the tube. Right answer is Option C. Flush the tube. Failure to flush the tube before and after both drug administration can result in tube clogging which may necessitate removal and insertion of new tube. Patient must receive the prescribed dose of medication so the tube is flushed to administer the drug completely. Next question. Method used while administering irritating medication via IM route is Option A. Z-Track method B. Deep IM method C. Sealing method D. All of the above Right answer is Z-Track method In this method Displacing the skin and subcutaneous tissue 1 to 1.5 inches laterally prior to injection and releasing the tissue immediately after injection. It will decrease irritation and bruising of skin. Next question. The nurse should check the prescription Death times before administering the medicine to a patient. Option A 1, B 2, C 3, D 4. Right answer is option C 3. The nurse should check the level on the medication for name, dose, and root and compared with the medication administration record at three different times. Next question. Intradermal injection is given at an angle of option A 15 degree, B 30 degree, C 45 degree, D 90 degree 
right answer is option A 15 degree intradermal injections are administered into the dermis just below epidermis it is given at an angle of 15 degree next question adjuvant drug used during anesthesia is option a halogen b medicated air c nitrous oxide d propofol right answer is option c nitrous oxide agents that are administered along with anesthetics to improve delivery increase effectiveness or decrease required doses are known as adjuvants for example nitrous oxide sedatives etc propofol is an anesthetic agent next question which of the following nerve is more likely get injured in improper dorsogluteal im injection option a peroneal b sciatic c brachial d femoral right answer is option b sciatic the sciatic nerve is the most commonly injured nerve resulting from a misplaced dorsogluteal im injection the consequences of sciatic nerve injury are potentially devastating and it may result in serious neurological and medical legal problems next question taking medication directly into the respiratory tract is termed as option a inaction b inhalation c installation d irrigation right answer is option b inhalation inhalation route is used for gaseous and volatile agents and aerosols this route has less systemic toxicity and more rapid onset of action next question antidote for heparin is option a vitamin k b protamin sulfate c amino carboric acid d amiodarone right answer is option b protamin sulfate protamin sulfate is an antidote for heparin Protamin sulfate is a drug that reverses the anticoagulant effects of heparin by binding to it. So this is the today's video. Thank you so much for watching my video.